Now, what happened? We have here the results of this revolution against God. Three times now in the remainder of this chapter, it says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Now, if you want to know how far man goes down in immorality, it's always measured by this matter of sex. And this perversion, this thing that actually many of the churches are espousing, instead of condemning it, may I say to you that God says he's given them up. They changed the truth of God into a lie. They worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this, notice again, verse 26, For this cause God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now these are passions of dishonor and disgrace. And this is depravity. I don't care what they're saying today, my friend. May I say to you, all you're doing today is getting public opinion of depraved minds. And perversion is something that entered into Greek life, and it brought Greece down. And you want to know how far down go over and look that a day. The glory that was Greece has passed away. And they did that which was unseemly. And verse 28, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And anybody that tells me today you can be a child of God and live in perversion and live in this sex mire today, my friend, you're not kidding anybody but yourself. And if you come to Jesus Christ, he'll give you deliverance today. Now they're being filled here, we're told, with all unrighteousness. And then he gives the ugliest list here. I hope you get my book on Romans and go through this. I do not intend to go through this ugly, horrible list, but it's what Los Angeles does every day. I used to tell students, Buy any paper, any cosmopolitan paper, any of our metropolitan dailies, and sit down and pick out the headlines, and you can find a headline for every sin that's mentioned here. This is what mankind does. This is the condition of Los Angeles today. Not just Cairo, Egypt, not Calcutta, India, not China, but the United States. And how much longer will God tolerate us? And be patient with us, because he's judged great nations of the past who went in this direction. Now, this is a horrible, frightful picture of humanity. But right now, there are folk listening to me and saying, Yes, Dr. McGee, we agree with you. Down there in the underworld, it's terrible, but we are nice folk. We have our little church socials. (laughs) We are lovely folk. We are members of a church. We don't really need a savior because we're so nice and sweet and moral. My friend, the meanest people I've ever met been church people, and you must remember, I've been a pastor 35 years. I know some mean people. They're church men.